Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Dig or Die. And in this episode, it is now the second day, and we're going to be doing some stuff, gathering some more resources, all that kind of cool stuff, trying to advance our bases. Hopefully we'll get a decent base built by the end of the day, that's what I'm hoping. But, we've got some stuff we gotta do. We do have a new miniaturizer, which is basically our crafting thing. The fish are now all angry at us because last night we got, uh, we got swarmed with the fishies. Um, you know, it's probably safer to dig down from over here to get all this copper. Wait, didn't I get the miniaturizer mark too? Oh no, I didn't. I thought I did. Guess I'm losing my mind. Better build one of those. So, miniaturizer mark two there we go now we should be able to get this copper no problem or actually i'm sorry it's iron i'm in a <laughs> in, hey whoa you guys be nice go away leave me alone these <laughs> fish these fish might be a problem we'll just get rid of as many of them as we can there we go now they should leave us alone for a while We'll also have to get some more of those wasps. Get rid of them. And one of you asked in the comments, does it get much better than the shotgun? Oh, it gets much better than the shotgun. The shotgun is just the tip of the iceberg, if you will. But we need to grab a few things. We need to get ourselves some stone, and we need to get ourselves some dirt, because we're gonna use those to make concrete. So we're just gonna get as much of that as we can during the day. Hopefully find some more resources like this iron right here. That will also be very helpful in constructing a strong and solid base. Let's see, how much do we have? Let's take a look at our inventory. You know, we can probably drag some of this stuff out of our inventory because it doesn't actually need to be here, let's see, just kind of clear some of this stuff out. I think we'll take those, put that there. Turret can probably stay right where it's at. I think that's good. Alright, so, back to the digging, and the gathering of the resources, and all that kind of good stuff. There we go, looks like I also need to make myself a flashlight. In fact, let's go ahead and do that right away. That's this right here, that'll give us a little light that'll show up behind us as we go exploring in caves and all that kind of good stuff. And I think what we'll do is we'll put a platform right there, and I'll just kind of work my way. There's a pretty nice iron deposit over there. I'm just going to work my way over there this way, because I think that'll be much safer. And it also gave me a lot of this stone, which is something that I desperately need. Can probably reload our shotgun as we're doing this. This is a fun little game. It actually just had a little bit of an update. Nothing super major, but some bug fixes and uh, some balancing and things like that. I don't know if they added any new features or content to the game per se. Not yet anyway. But this should end up being, I don't know, maybe Maybe five or six episodes, I'm not really sure. I don't think, I think I'm probably gonna start doing uh, multiple days per episode. Because a lot of it is just this kind of repetitive uh, gathering of resources and stuff like that. Here we go. Got ourselves a pretty solid amount of iron now. Which I may, admittedly, continue to call copper. We'll have to see. Let's jump up here. Oh! Get away! Leave me alone. Those wasps, they'll get you. Alright. Ooh, and there's one of those things. Um... Yeah, we'll let him fall. I don't wanna... I don't want to deal with him too much just yet. Let's go ahead and reload our shotgun. 
And let's take a look and see how much dirt have we got. We got 26 dirt, 34 stone. That's enough for a pretty decent amount of concrete. At least enough to get us going. We will definitely need more light crystals though. So let's get rid of some of these wasps. Hopefully we'll be able to get a decent amount to make some more turrets for the night. That's kind of the goal at this point, is to get a stronger base built up. And I think... I think I'm actually going to go this way. We'll find a chasm over here. A real deep one. That will... Be a place where we're going to have to go and we're going to have to build up... Anyway, so I think that might actually be a pretty decent location... To kind of set up our base. That's what I'm hoping. There we go, let's get rid of those guys. The fish I'm just gonna leave alone because they can't get to me if I'm not in the water. Ooh, red wasps. Hmm. I don't know that we want to deal with red wasps just yet, but I we might not have a whole lot of choice in the matter. Here's the chasm I was talking about. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna dig out a little tunnel here to kind of drain this water out as best we can and then I'm gonna build my base right here into the side of this hill that's the plan anyway hopefully the wasps will leave me alone long enough there's a lot of them though hmm maybe we'd be better off building oh they see me you know what? YOLO. Let's just get rid of them. That means we're gonna get attacked by these things at night, which is gonna be problematic, but I think we'll probably be okay. We should be able, ooh, wow, my health is getting really low. Get out of here, fishy. Let's drain a little bit more of this. And actually, we're just going to get rid of all of this up here, I think. That's probably the best thing to do. That'll open up a lot of space for us to build. So, let's throw down our Crafter Mark II. We're going to make a bunch of these concrete walls. We're going to make some of these iron supports. And we're going to make some of these concrete back walls as well. That should be at least a pretty good start. Those guys are tough, man. All right, so I think we'll start the base maybe like right about here. And we'll go too wide. And then we're gonna start kind of bringing it up and over. Go away, wasp. I'm trying to build. Oh, we got him. Oh, and he dropped a red one too. Excellent. And then back here we'll put these supports in just like this oh it's already getting oh man where did the day go oh we're gonna have to build fast okay so let's do that should balance it out. There's that physics engine that we run into occasionally. And we'll put concrete in the floors as well. Quick make some lights. And turrets. We're going to need turrets. I'll put one here and one there. Um, let's put a turret now, let's put concrete down. And then I'll put a turret on top of that. And, oh man, they're gonna come in from everywhere. We might run into some problems here. We need more turrets. Uh, let's rotate that one so it shoots the other way. This is gonna be a crazy night do a little 
Let's assist our turrets as best we can with our shotgun. I really need more turrets, though. Oh, man, this is not going to be an easy night. Uh, where's my other... I need my other auto builder. I'm in trouble. Let's put down some more concrete down here. Reinforce this as best we can. Base is getting torn apart. Um... And let's make a couple of these turrets. We'll put one here. Oh man, my health is like gone. I might, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm in huge trouble. Oh, there's the autosave. We survived the night. Oh, and that is the end. Okay, well, we'll reload. We're kind of in some trouble at the moment because we don't have much for health. Oh, there we go. I think we made it that time. If you die, you basically have to reload from the last save, which is kind of a problem in some ways. Um, there's no... You don't, you don't pick up exactly where you left off, but it could be a lot worse because as long as you survive the night, you're not going back too far. And let's actually put a platform right there. And now we need to re... We basically need to rebuild our whole base now. But now we've got all day to actually do that. So, I think I'm going to get some work done here on the base. And I'll be back in just a moment. Alright guys, I am back. And it is almost night. It is very, very close. we got to hurry back to the base. I think I have enough defenses built up where I should be all right. Let's just kind of get back there as best we can. I'm not far away. But it is getting to be dark very, very quickly here. So we got turrets all up there. We've got all sorts of cool stuff. Let's see, we've already got a shotgun. We don't... Oh, I was really hoping to get this plasma machine gun, but that just didn't happen in time. So, uh, let's make... Let's make a couple more of these. And let's turn that one the other way. And what I want to do is get them up here and get them to fight me up here where I'm reasonably safe. That's what I'm hoping. Now... They won't directly target the guns, but they will shoot, and if their shots hit the guns, it will do damage to the guns. So, I want to try to avoid losing these turrets if I can. I don't think that's going to be completely realistic, but we'll do our best. We'll see what we can do. This should be a much easier night to survive than the last one, though. I've got this nice fortification built up. We should be all right. You can see my turrets up there doing some serious work. We've got a lot of these red gems, which are going to be great once we get into the more uh, powerful crafting recipes. I really should have made that one one of the other turrets, but I just didn't. Yeah, there's not much. Whoa, lots of doggies. Doggies. All right. They're just kind of flying around and doing their thing. Alright, we're going to come back up here where it's a little bit safer. And where my turrets can do the most damage. That's the plan. You can kind of lure them if you're smart about how you do it. There you go. Alright, so we have now survived our second night. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. And it all came out pretty well. The base is actually in pretty good shape, all things considered. But guys, I am going to go ahead and end this episode right here. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. 
You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. I think I can take both these guys, though. They both look like they're just kind of driving around in sloops. And I've got a schooner with a lot more firepower, better everything. Ooh, bam! Look at that.